This is MDB RS232 PC adapter box. Now we test with the wafer MDB RS232 demo software. We are test it with the Nyx Repose card reader, coin acceptor and B acceptor. Okay, and now power on. And there are some LEDs. PC data link, when you have the data communicate with the box, the PC data link will start to flash. And this is a coin acceptor, B acceptor, and a cashless device. Cashless device need a longer time to reset. Okay. Three devices already have detected. So start to flash. Okay. And we, we can send the command from the PC to the coin acceptor and the BX and the card reader to enable and read the configuration data. And now, after power on, the B acceptor is in the disabled status. It's, that means inhibited. So it will report the status always. 30, zero line. Zero line means the B acceptor is inhibited. 30, that means the data from the B acceptor. Okay, we can we clear the screen and it keep to send. And after we enable the B acceptor, it will stop to send, enable. Okay, the, the light is lit, the B acceptor already enabled. And this is inhibited. We can send the command to enable it, enable the coin acceptor. We send the command, enable all coins. Okay, let's back to OK status. And now it is ready to accept the coins and the bills. And for the card reader, we can disable the card reader. Disable the cache only. Okay, we send the command to enable reader. Okay, scan, touch to pay. Okay, and now we test with the bills and the coins. And after the device accepted the BIOS, it will report the data. Okay, report the data. 30, that means the data from B acceptor. 82, that means the B corrected value. And now the BL acceptor is in the ASCA disabled. But sometimes we need to enable the ASCA. For example, this enable ASCA. If we enable the ASCA, the BL accepted will be hold and wait we stack the stack the beer into the cash box. Okay, we test another beer. Stack the beer. We enable the cas enable the ASCA. Okay, enable the ASCA. We can test another beer. Okay, the beer is holding the ASCA. Report the status is disabled. We can stack the beer. Stack the beer. Okay. The beer is stacked into the cash box. Start to ready to accept another beer again. And also report the data. And this is the coins. For the coins, we can insert the coins and it will report the data. Okay. This means the coins accepted. And this is a card reader. Of course, for the coins, coins acceptor, B acceptor, and the card reader, we can from the PC to send the command to control and accept the status data and also the correct data. And we can read the setup command, read the config, configurator parameters from the B acceptor, and the setup from the coin acceptor. This setup data is very important. It will let you know 
This is the country code, and this is the credit, credit of the bills and coins, which bills and coins will be accepted, and also the credit value. And this is the scale data that will be used when you design the VMC software. Okay, this is the, this is the card reader. We can test it again. Okay, wait to swipe the card. And then the PC software will receive the correct data. And then we send the request com uh, com request the vendor data to the card reader. Please select the product. Received the correct data. And we send the request vendor. Authorizing. Request me vendor, that means that user have selected the goods. So we send the goods item number and the item price to the card reader. And then it will send the approved vendor to the VMC and the VMC will confirm with vendor success. Of course, you can cancel the sale. And now we send the vendor, success, vendor success and the card reader charge the was this is product price and the section complete. Okay, and back to the normal status to wait the next swipe. Okay, thank you.